you know, again, how is Germany and the Chinese not doing better when they've occupied so much of Russia, for example? That's a good question. They're still on minus, aren't they? Uh, let's see. <laughs> they actually are minus 27 because of minus 15 battles. <laughs> but, I mean, the problem with Russia is that it's so freaking massive. Yeah. And, and the they're actually not winning that much on fr uh, the French front. Even though they have invaded Africa for some goddamn reason. Also, I still find Danish Africa to be hilarious. Yeah, it's a bit of a, an eyesore. Yeah, especially since especially Italian Africa me, is so yeah, tiny. Especially to me as an Italian, because it's um, it reminds me of how terrible my African adventure was. <laughs> yeah. Your African adventure was a complete disaster. And you still have yet to establish um, any colonial colonial reach, which is probably why you're, everyone dislikes you and looks down on you. So you're saying the reason I have communist revolutions is because I haven't colonized. You uh, don't have a colony stuff. yet. And they are like, what the hell, Italy? You're run uh, very badly. They're nationalist communists. I mean, why not? There's all kinds of combinations you can make these days. Human resource development. Hmm. Sure. I mean, 1920 in Chicago fits right into Spain. Speaking of Chicago, how many people are living in Chicago? Chicago, Illinois has 141,000 people living in there. Uh, how about New York? Long Island has 64,000 only? That's not, Oh, okay, so New York has 566,000. Holy hell. <laughs> Let's compare New York to, say, Rome. Rome has 267,000. Madrid has 212,000. I mean, that's, that's the really interesting part about Spain. It's fairly decentralized, at least. I mean, Madrid sounds like it would, at this point, be a really big city, but it's... I mean, it's not that big compared to how big, say, Paris is. In yeah, France. Madrid has always been a slightly anonymous in European history, I have to say. Um, and, I mean, I mean, cities like London and Fra uh, Paris has always been like the focal points of their respective nations. I don't feel like Madrid has been the same for Fra uh, for <laughs> for France for Spain, but and again, I, Spain honestly, itself. I'm not, yeah, I'm not that uh, big on on French uh, <laughs> Spanish <laughs> history. No, but then again, you know, like the. Spain itself hasn't really been any focal point, so I guess that explains it. At least the history that we like generally learn about. I mean, of course, you can angle history in different ways. So, but like, it doesn't have the sort of same stardom as uh, London or especially Paris has had. Yeah. Let's see. Rome has also like been slightly. I don't know if not if not for the Vatican and that whole thing, it would be almost the same as um, Madrid. I would say. Yeah, I mean, but past uh, hmm. Roman history, then of course. True, but it's still been, uh, I mean, a very important city in for for Italy itself as a nation. I mean, the young <sighs> reunited yeah. Italy. The recapture of Rome was. Uh, very important for natural pride and everything. But, 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 we're going into territory we have no freaking clue of. For some reason, France is <laughs> invading in Morocco in the war of Moroccan submission. Apparently, Morocco is being a bit of a pain suddenly. But I am actually impressed by France's stamina, <laughs> or what you call it. They are actually invading the Rhineland. Yeah, they're doing their job. They're pushing back. How is this possible? What is Sweden doing? Well, I'm assuming Sweden's army has been... Well, they have Vanquished. six brigades left, so... Yeah, I, f I think that Sweden with their social democrats have lost quite a bit. What do you mean? The Chinese Empire... I'm <laughs> they have Dainam and Iceland in their spheres. What a combination. Kind of looking forward to... The fallout from uh, that world war. 
the Third Great War, as it's now called. Oh yeah, because the Russian Empire became a great power, and thus the war became the Third Great Power, uh, the Great War. Mm -hmm. So that means that Germany has been in <laughs> all the three, or no? Well, if, yeah, well they've two. been in two of the three. It's, it's like France with their second time now. And we have been <laughs> in. Uh, we have been in one of the Great Wars, haven't we? But it didn't have uh, Yeah, we started the first one. Yeah, we I did. think. Or, yeah. We're not very good at hi our own history here. Which is yeah, bad. well, I mean... How was it again? Did we participate? The hi our history is not that great, so what's to learn? Yeah. Uh, I have Spanish anarcho liberals. Liberals. How am can I going to... Can I appease get... them by adding some pensions? People can have some pensions. How am I going to get... More, like a more great power again? I, um, I don't think you will be able to become great power. Yeah, what? they're losing. Uh, they're losing steam. I mean, you have to compete against the Chinese Empire, Japan, me. Well, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much all. So yeah, you're not gonna win. Well, Japan, they're not that. Impressive. Well, I mean, Japan is the sixth, sixth greatest power in the world. Well, right now, I could. Yeah, be right that. now. Okay, so the greatest powers or the ones in that those, that position are, you know, of course, Germany. You. UK, <laughs> elected Germany is now the greatest power in the world. Oh, well, I just passed uh, Austria-Hungary. That's good. Yeah, so it's uh, you have to beat now the Netherlands, in, actually. Can you believe that? The Netherlands are winning over you. In... <sighs> yeah, but I'm not too far off, actually. No, you just need to let your industry grow. Yeah, okay, so you at place 7, there's a big gap between you and the Netherlands, so I really need to get to like spot eight yeah you had to grab that which is good now for you that i mean at least to say the russian empire will be out of commission for a long while after this yeah where the hell are they even uh they are in 35th place <laughs> holy shit damn oh well, they have been crushed to the ground i never i mean i've never in real life seen russia this uh this occupied but yeah no Empire. They're having some issues. I think I need some more capitalists to invest in my factories. Because, you know, I'm fine with allowing the capitalists to, to rule my nation, so to speak. It's just that they better do a damn good job at it. So, uh, let's, let's put some more capitalists around the nation. In all the populous areas. So, do you have any... What's your most populous region? I'm yeah. guessing it's me... Uh, I mean, uh, Milan or uh, Lombardia. This yeah, Lo Lombardia. That's it. And then it's Campania. <laughs> Campania? Well, that's, that's a bit of a surprise. I mean, I guess the Naples, yeah, so that, that makes sense. But... Yeah, there's a lot of people being there. And then it's Venetia. Hmm. Venetia. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. My most populous areas are Leon Castil Castilla, Castilla la Nue uh, Nueva, Granada actually, and uh, Vasconia, Aragon, and then Andalusia. Catalonia is pretty far down. Oh, speaking of Catalonia, I remember playing as Spain in... Have you ever tried the zombie apocalypse mod? No, or, I have not. But I, you, I think you told me before. Yeah, I also it. tried. I also tried to mod it a bit, so because I like the the whole part of it's survive. You know, very few people in Europe survive, and you have to rebuild. So I would like to add, you know, this huge population boom. So say, like France is left with thirty thousand people, and you know, just remnants of France, and then you have to kind of reconquer Europe and stuff like that. Would I like that that idea? But yeah, I I survived on the Balearic Islands. And then had to recolonize. Where's so that? Ca ca uh, you know, the Mallorca and... Ah. Things like that. And then I had to recolonize. So I recolonized Catalonia, the remnants there. And the Cat uh, Catalans became uh, the most dominant ethnic group in Spain. <laughs> it was quite, quite interesting. interesting. And I, I also conquered uh, England. So I think that... Was it Liverpool that had like 30,000 Catalans in it? Yeah. Great Sounds times. About right. Great times, great times. But yeah, we should try that mod someday. It's just a bit 
Hmm, un unstable. Let's just call it. Hmm, all rich strata. Well, we're more. used to that from. True. Oh, I accidentally held an election. I wasn't supposed to click there. <laughs> accidentally held an election. <laughs> but I like that. Is <laughs> like I, I sit at my desk and say election. Oh wait, God damn it! Someone <laughs> said I can't retake it now. S someone comes in to your office as you are the dictator of this country, and they go like, um, "Sire, would you like to to hold an election?" And you're like, uh, "Yeah, sure." No, wait. Well, no, <laughs> it's too late. You can't take it back. It's oh, too God. Late. It. I've already started walking out the room. I'm closing the door now. Bye. <laughs> uh, it's quite fun how you. <laughs> you just. Oh, yeah, you click that button. You can't take it back. It should be cancel election. But you have no such power. You're the worst dictator ever in a democracy, by the way. But yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty childish thing, actually. Like, no, you've clicked now. You can't. Can't change yeah. your mind. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, speaking of no sense, why have I never expanded my... Well, I haven't expanded my naval bases, but not in a while. Mostly because I can't. Okay, so it does make sense. I am smarter than I think. But holy shit, I have a lot of unemployed. Like, just in, in Catalonia, I have 85,000 unemployed. No wonder I have a bunch of Catalan nationalists. I'm treating them like dirt. As they deserve. Ooh. Okay. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. But how is Germany not winning against France? I mean, France is 12th place in military power, and yet they still hold Elsass Lothringen. I think outside. one part of the reason is that Germany is on the other side of the world with a lot of their units. Maybe. I mean... That doesn't make sense. But still, they should be able to take both at the same time because Germany is... Uh, I mean, they, they have Bohemia. They have everything. Insinuating, of course, that, you know, Bohemia is everything. <laughs> it is. <laughs> By the way, have you seen Krakow's flag? No, I have not. Looks like something. <laughs> Proletarian dictatorship. Looks like something a bunch of teenagers like spray painted on the flag. <laughs> yeah. It's funny but, though, their secondary power, Krakow. Yeah, but even they have a communist party that's worth their salt. Like, uh, war policy, pro military. Why is my communist party so freaking passive and pacifist? Passiveist. Huh. Yes, exactly. Can, why can't I disband a party and say, you know, reform in a, with a better idea of what you want? And, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm never going to get... I'm well, either going to get a socialist party or I'm going to get a liberal party. Because the socialists hold 33% while the liberals hold 29%. So, which is most likely to win? I guess I'll find out on the 14th of May when the election is done. So how are you go uh, doing with building armies, by the way? Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm just going through my what I'm good at right now. I actually have like 14% of the world's fish stockpile, which is interesting. Of the world's fish. Well, I'm producing 33% of all the world's canned food. Yeah, I'm not really doing anything of that. I have 10% of the world's wool. Uh, I only have 43% now of the rubber. I've lost market share. Rubber? I don't... Rubber? No, I, I don't... I'm not producing anything, of course. Because I'm, I'm uh, I have 14% of all the world's though. fish. Ooh, fruit. No, just 11%. Hmm. Where Gr is that other thing? The, why am I not producing a tropical wood? I want tropical wood. Do you have a lot of cattle? Let's see, cattle, cattle, cattle. Yeah, I do. Uh, well, eleven percent of the world's cattle, <laughs> and uh, nine percent of the world's fish. But I'm not producing any uh, automobiles. I'm not producing any opium. Oh God, I need opium, and I'm not producing <laughs> any doesn't? coffee either. There's a lot of stuff I'm not producing at all. I could really use some stuff. No, but I, I could really yeah, use, you some, could use some stuff. Let's get some stuff. Uh, Doesn't matter what. 
Oh, actually, actually, sulfur is fourteen uh, percent. That's pretty good. But coal, an abysmal zero point fifteen percent. Zero point fifteen percent. Yeah, why am I producing anything? It's not worth it. Ooh, tank factory. Yes. Do you have that? Yes, I'm building it now. Well, yeah, I built some stuff. Like, I built a telephone factory, but no one is producing any telephones in this garden. <laughs> you forgot to tell them to do that. 